Hello, my name is Barrett Muth and I am a product manager for curriculum development here at Edmonton. Today, I will be giving you a sneak peek at our continued effort to renew and reinforce our approach to math curriculum for all student audiences. Over the past several years, we have made significant investment in our algebra and geometry courses that compose the traditional pathway in high school math. This summer, we are excited to announce new integrated math one, two, and three courses, reinforcing our commitment to providing our partners with best in class core four courses essential for graduation success. We know the integrated approach to teaching math, one which prioritizes revisiting topics repeatedly, but at a deeper level each year, has become increasingly popular in specific states, and we remain committed to supporting those state-specific approaches to math achievement. These new courses will be aligned to national standards in addition to a series of state-specific course launches for the states you see here. More state-specific variants of these courses will be released later in the fall, satisfying needs in North Carolina, Ohio, and Tennessee. Let's take a closer look at some of the specific additions to each of these courses. In Integrated Math 1, we extend students' knowledge of math learned in their middle school curriculum. This course is designed to provide clear and engaging instruction, as well as opportunities for students to practice and demonstrate mastery. This step-by-step -step item in Integrated Math 1 reviews rules of exponents. The review is followed by additional practice where students can continue to strengthen their skills before the introduction of exponential functions. Content is often presented using interactive models. In this tutorial slide, students are presented with a diagram that shows parts of and related to a circle. Students can click each part and receive an explanation. This design allows students to work at their own pace as they learn new content and limits the amount of text that appears at once. In Integrated Math 2, we build on the foundation established in Integrated Math 1, connecting to students' prior knowledge and stretching their understanding to new concepts. This hands-on activity asks students to explore the relationship between side lengths and angles, as well as the triangle inequality. We also provide students with opportunities to practice, demonstrate mastery, and engage with interactive and technology-enhanced items. In this graphic gap match item, students are assessed on sorting functions as representing exponential growth or exponential decay. Integrated Math 3 closes the pathway, guiding students through more advanced math concepts and putting to practice all of their effort from years prior in instances that mirror real-world scenarios. In this lesson activity, students find the surface area and volume of a round bale of hay. The activity walks students through identifying the shape, drawing and labeling a net to model it, writing polynomial functions to model the surface area and volume, and evaluating the functions for given values to calculate the surface area and volume. And finally, this practice helps students identify common errors and improve their own processes. In this question, students are presented with a proof completed in both two-column and paragraph form. They must use their knowledge of geometry and angles to identify and correct the error in each proof. Thank you so much for watching this sneak peek for Integrated Math 1 through 3.